Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the theater and the vlog. Today is Friday. I am exhausted. So lately, probably for the last couple weeks, three-ish, four, I don't know, it's been a while, I've had really bad insomnia. And I would say I'm lucky because I have the type of insomnia that I just can't get to sleep forever, but once I get to sleep, I sleep fine. I don't have that terrible insomnia where you get to sleep and you wake up and you go to sleep and you wake up and you go to sleep. That'd be terrible. But I've also been falling asleep at like three o'clock or later every single night for the last couple weeks. And it's terrible. And I just like, there's nothing I can do. I can be dead tired and lay in bed and then my brain's like, and it's, um, it's not enjoyable. So basically what I'm saying is I fell asleep after three o'clock last night and I got less than four hours of sleep. So we're doing great. I did, however, last night around midnight do a little bit on my chapter 16 that I've been working on. So that's good, but I don't know. I kind of want to nap slash I'm not tired at all, which is my poor body going, <gasps> I'm fine, I'm awake. Um, but we'll see, what, we'll see what happens. Anyways, like I said, I'm at the theater. I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink and then start the day. Should be a short shift today, hopefully, which will be nice, especially considering this is the first of six days in a row. Yay. <laughs> Hola, it is, oh wow, it is 10 to four. I just got home now. I ended up being at work until one and then I couldn't get to the bus in time, and then the next bus wasn't until 10, 2, 3. What? So I ended up just um, going downtown, or staying downtown. I had some food, and then I went to Starbucks, and I worked a little bit on plotting and planning things. <sighs> I am really tired. I had a thought last night about this whole furniture situation, and I don't know if it'll work. I'm going to have to measure, but I might be able to put my bookshelves against this wall as a headboard and then put the other thing at the foot of my bed it i'm gonna have to measure it but i do have a shelf here so i can kind of like get a gauge Ooh, these are i mean they're particle boards so they're a little bit heavier than they look <laughs> very scientific here okay <laughs> this is like the least sci so that's like lined up there i think the bookshelf is probably a little bit wider than this but not much and then those sit, I don't know, I'm gonna have to go get measurements, but this might work. It's still gonna be like super tight, but at least I'll have somewhere to put stuff. Because honestly, I have no idea how I'm going to put anything in here <laughs> without the bookshelves. Like I've pared down quite a bit, but my entire life is in this room. Like my mom was like, well, we don't have that much stuff in your room. I'm like, mom, you have an entire house. I have a room anyway. I'm gonna take some measurements and maybe see if that'll work. But I'm just currently, well, my plan was to get changed, but we'll see, oh, there's sweatpants. I'm wearing sweatpants. I just, these ones have a hole in them now. <laughs> my thunder thighs are constantly destroying pants I like. Anyway, I'm gonna change and I'm gonna grab my laptop and I'm gonna go over to the other house to upload tomorrow's vlog because, you know, kinda needed internet for that. I will take some measurements and see what we can do and then I think I'm going to, I don't know, I guess like pack up the bathroom or maybe I'll help pack up the kitchen, I don't know. I got nothing, but I, I'm so, and I don't know how I'm still awake because I'm on less than four hours of sleep, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go now though. Uh, I'm probably not going to bring the camera over just because I feel like it'll be more pain than it's worth because I won't really be doing anything exciting. And then later, I think I'm going to do some more unpacking. Hopefully, like I said, that'll work. I'm going to have to measure how much space I have here and then we'll see. Even if like, like even if it sits out a little bit here, like as long as the door can open, that's 
I mean, it's just like a hallway. We'll see. But so one nice thing about insomnia is when you can't sleep at night, you have lots of thoughts. Or maybe that's the reason that insomnia sucks so much. It's fine. I'm going now, I promise. Well, it has been quite some time and I am barely exaggerating when I say I'm dying. <sighs> My breathing is really bad right now. Like, really bad. <laughs> like, had a coughing attack immediately be start be starting before starting this clip bad not good so anyway progress the bookshelves well the the, the shelf shells are here I have some of the shelves over there and the rest are somewhere nearby I'm not exactly sure where so I'm going to put the shelves in I'm going to put like things that I don't need to access regularly on the very bottom shelf and I'm going to push my bed in. I hate this. <laughs> and then I should be able to build the cubey thing, which is over here right now. It's broken. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before. It is broken, so we couldn't fully take it apart, nor was it really safe to move. Yeah, I don't... I, yeah. <laughs> so it's currently here. So you can see... These, this is broken here, so it's glued for one, and then it's got these supports so it can hold weight. So we couldn't take that main part apart. So we just took like the sides off, and the sides off, and the sides off. Okay, those must be bottoms. Anyway, like half my stuff is over here right now, and there. And so once I get that filled, like I said, just the bottom shelf and shoved up against there. Then I can build the blue thing. Oh look, there's the other shelves. And then I can put the cube thing here. Did I just call it blue thing? I meant to call it cube thing. And then I'm just gonna be like trapped and if there's an earthquake, I will definitely die. But it's fine. Anyway, that's the game plan. So what I think I'm gonna do is, wait for it, wait for it. Found my laptop. It was being a jerk. I was trying to post something on my blog site. Oh me no functioning i was trying to post something on my blog site and it was like oh battery power low and i was like okay cool like usually when that happens you have like 10 to 15 minutes and then it was just like off rude and still and still no internet over here i'll probably move the internet on monday and i'll just be like move your stuff i think the plan is to kind of finish the majority of the moving this weekend. Well, we have the other place until the end of the month, so any of the small stuff we can move over and slowly like unpack, etc. So yeah, that's where we're at. We're updated. I'm dying. Oh, my mom and I went for dinner at some point along the way. I'm dying though. I can't breathe. It's not cool. Anyways, I'm gonna go. And tomorrow, just thinking ahead, I have a split ship, so I think I'm going to bring writing stuff, obviously. I just about poked myself in the eye. And also invoicing stuff, because with the lack of internet here, and I need internet for invoicing because a lot of it is cloud-based, and I need Navionics on my phone, I need the internet. So I think I will bring, hopefully I can find it, and bring the stuff that I need for invoicing as well tomorrow because I should have a break from, I would say 10 until four, maybe 12 until four, but I think it's more likely gonna be like 10 or 11 until four uh, because I just have to do a couple things in the morning and then I have to do a couple things after the matinee. So fun, but I'll have help during the, 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 the time after the matinee and before the next show, which is always nice. Anyway. I'm gonna stop rambling because if I don't, I'm just gonna sit here all night. I'm gonna go grab my laptop, plug it in. I've been watching Covert Affairs lately, and by lately, I mean I watched it yesterday um, because it was one of the things that I downloaded to my computer on my iTunes. Okay, I'm going. Okay, so I don't know if you know, I'm sure I've mentioned it before. I have a degree in history. Uh, I really love history. History is awesome. My knowledge of history makes world building a lot easier because I can draw from the things in my brain but one of the things that I did while doing my degree was write some historical comics <laughs> so I love history history is great but it's not super accessible in depth for a lot of people because they get really bored and so I decided to write a comic it actually went like this I was sitting in class and I was really bored and I was just kind of like staring out the window pretending to make 
take notes and stuff. And we were, we were talking about the uh, period after World War II. So like, as we're leading towards the Cold War. And my teacher was talking about Stalin and how he wanted more land. And then he brought up, you know, uh, the greater than less than sign in math and how we always remember that the hungry alligator wanted to eat the bigger number. So <laughs> I was saying in the back of the class and I'm like, <laughs> Stalin gator. And I was like, ooh, that's good. And so I wrote this comic called Stalin gator versus the allies. <laughs> and I can't draw to save my life, but I can kind of draw animals, kind of. And so the US are eagles. Stalin is um, an alligator, obviously. And it's just, and like Britain are mice because I can draw mice. And it's just, I forgot how hilarious it is. It's so funny. Like at one point, so the British are like, well, we'll help out with stopping the Soviet Union from advancing as long as it doesn't interfere with tea time. And then India has independence going on. And so Great Britain's like, oh no, it's interfering with tea time. We have to go deal with this. And so I cannot flip to this page. So then cut to the States and somebody's like, hey, Mr. President, like the Brits are pulling out of Greece and Turkey because it interfered with tea time. And Truman, President Eagle Truman goes, what can we do? And then <laughs> there's a flashback to the Boston Tea Party. <laughs> and he's like, wait, we don't like tea. We can help. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> anyway, I love it. A lot of my friends were like, wow, I understand history now. Like, obviously, my non-degree friends. And then I decided to write another one. This one is called One Man's Guilt, One World's War. And it's nine pages of World War One. World War II is kind of a dicey topic to get to. I would love to keep doing these, but um, dicey. <laughs> anyway, especially because these are comical. Like, like, oh... Belgium needs help, so Britain's like, okay, we're gonna declare war, and so like, dear Germany and Austria-Hungary, we, our empire and dominions, are declaring war on you. Looking forward to seeing you on the front. <laughs> like, it's such stupid things. I'm like, the Schlieffen plan, so, I'm such a nerd and I love this, but Schlieffen plan was basically Germany, instead of going straight from Germany to France, we're gonna go through Belgium. And so this is how I explained it. They'll be expecting us at the X's, but we'll be the arrows. Hilarious. I love it. I just read over these and it's been a very long time since I read them and I was killing myself. Like, it covers so much without like going too deep. It's, it's very broad, obviously, but even like as the U.S. are finally coming into the war, there it mentions how long. It mentions that they've been isolated for a long time. It's got the revolution happening in in... Russia. Lenin's a pelican because it rhymed kind of. So Austria is all like throwing stuff at Serbia over a fence, like legitimately throwing sticks and stones over a fence <laughs> at Serbia. And Serbia's like, yeah, well, I've got Russia. And Austria, Hungary's like, Psh, you need somebody else to fight a war. And like, meanwhile, Germany's in the background in a bush, like, hey, do you need my help now? Like, it's hilarious. It's so good. I want to make more of these. Maybe this should be a project for next year. Making more historical comics. That could be fun. Anyway, I'm making progress with the unpacking. I've got stuff there and the bed is pushed up against because I filled the bottom shelf. And then I also found I wrote a movie script in like 2009, 2010 found that. I was like, hmm, maybe I should revisit that too. I'm finding lots of fun things. I found, oh my god, my body. I found some Russian homework from university. And I was like, I can't believe that not only could I read that at one point, I actually wrote all that. And there's very few mistakes. Jeez. Ya govori poruski izik. But I don't really speak it anymore. Not at all. I always say the, the only thing I can say are lies. Like, um, Ya uchus v universiti victoriskam, which is I study at the University of Victoria, which I don't anymore. Um, Ya lublu politiciskam? I think that's right. I love political sciences. Not so much anymore. Um, Sini kniga, blue books. 
like really random things and obviously like Strasvitia, Menyazavut, Tiffany, Kaktivazavut, like hi my name's Tiffany, what's your name? Ochin um, Priedna. But it's really not there and I don't understand how it was ever at the level that I could write that. Writing Russian in cursive is really fun though. Anyway, I am rambling. I'm going to go build the cube and slide it over because once I do that most of the stuff over here can just slot into the cube and I can organize it later. So that is the plan. But it's been the plan for a while and I got super distracted and now I've been talking for like eight minutes. How? Why? I feel like today is going to be a very wordy vlog, but it's fine. I was gonna keep talking, but I'm just gonna stop now. <laughs> well, my lower back is starting to seize up from everything I've done, but I've made a lot of progress. It is 11 o'clock. I'm not sure how that happened, but let's take a little look at the room. So closet, I have almost everything hung up that I need to hang up. That still needs to be organized probably. Same with down here, obviously. I have my desk, but I have not brought my chair up. It's gonna be tight there, I think, so I guess when I'm not using my chair, I'll just slide it over that way. I've got my little makeup station. I think I'm gonna get like a little stand to go here that I can keep the rest of my makeup in and then give myself some more space. My fridge is gonna go there. And then books are slowly getting put out and I got my Stay Weed Moon Cheat out. It's hilarious. I mean, obviously it says Stay Wild Moon Child, but why didn't they use the capital L's? Oh, and I also ah, now have a hallway and all those things are in there. That's the wrong color. That's the wrong color, but I've got bins to switch them. But yes, much progress is being made. My back is killing me. Um, but like, we're almost there. I've got one, two, two backpacks with books in them. A big tote here with books in it. And then I think that's all the books. I think I like a couple more things over at the other place and like all my shower stuff. This girl really kind of needs to shower, but I need to clean the bathtub here first because it's kind of gross. So I don't think it's gonna happen today, maybe tomorrow. Um, but yeah, progress is being made. I am very tired, but I'm gonna snack a little bit here. I'm watching some covert affair still. And then I'm going to Keep on keeping on. I just had a candy cane, so now I have lots of sugar in me, so I can keep going. Alrighty, well, it is a time. <laughs> it is 12.30, and I've pretty much unpacked everything. I've got a box back there, and this red thing there. But that's pretty much it. I do have to do some organizing because now that I can have my bookshelves in here, I'm going to move the books from over there into there and then maybe use that for tech or something. I haven't decided yet. Or desk storage because I don't really have anything there. But yeah, I'm just going to chill now in bed. I'm watching Psych because it was some of this, like I downloaded Covert Affairs and Psych. <laughs> that's all I downloaded. And um, I'm going to go to sleep. It's gonna be a long day at work tomorrow because it's a split like I mentioned, but I should be able to get a lot of stuff done. My bag is mostly packed. Um, I'll just need to put my laptop in in the morning and my camera. But other than that, I think we're good. Oh, my battery's dying. Oh good, I know where the other battery is. And with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure. And I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.